Let's talk about ultimate class skill abilities. Welcome back to another Bit Legends video. Today we're talking about the Bounty Hunter Survive trait line, talent line, ultimate abilities. Oh my goodness, I know you fellas miss the music. We're doing it a little bit sketchy, but I tell you what, I'm gonna start putting together decent videos again. We'll figure it out. I'll, I'll make this laptop work. Um, but I am still filming on the phone because I'm playing on the phone, and here we are. Enough with that. Let's get into it. So, I just unlocked this. This is Urgent Recharge. In a previous video, you should have seen me using the full launch. A handful of DPS players on Server 3 are grabbing this ability, and it's definitely worth it. This is fun. So, if you missed that out, check out the previous video. But today, we're talking tanky. We're talking about surviving stuff. And Urgent Recharge is going to uh, help you do that. So, use once in each battle. That means every single fight in a dungeon. Um, so pretty nice there. SP cost is 25. That is um, just slightly over half your bar. So four pips on the bar. Each pip is 10 SP. There you go. Math. Exciting. Activate the ultimate defense system. Restore 30% self hit points and recharge all the shields up to 100%. So what does that mean? It means you heal yourself for 30% and you get full shields. What is full shields? It's 50% of your bar. So just in case there's any confusion there. Um, and it's all, this ability only works on yourself, straightforward. Um, the one downside of this amazing ability, the autopilot will not use it, and I'll be showing this in combat here today. I'll also show off uh, Raid 6, which is the highest raid in the game at the moment that anybody is doing. So let's show this thing in action. I think it is great. It's really good if you're doing any sort of manual content, but uh, I, was, I was so hopeful that the autopilot was going to use this thing. Um, if you want to see my build, because I know you do, uh, damage reduction 5% when taking damage, I get 1 SP each hit. So 1 pip of SP, you'll definitely see that in action. Um, had to drop down here. Every time the battle starts, I get 2 pips of SP. Um, I'm getting so much SP off the other ability that don't really need this one, but this one kind of helps you top up, because you won't be full SP just with the only, just with the other one. And then come down here, Block 10%, I am gonna go for a block build. We're kind of working on that. This one, I like it a lot. You've seen it before. This um, heal effect, I believe, I think it's only heals that I'm receiving. So if my pet heals me, if I use a healing skill on me or someone else heals me. Um, but I, I kind of hoped it would also work on the heals that I'm giving to other people, but it doesn't seem to be the case. But either way, um, healing is very low in the game right now, so this is getting me value. And then, of course, this guy. If you're wondering what I'm going to do in the future, we don't know what the max level is. I think it's going to go up to 99 um, or up to 100. That way, no one can get two ultimate abilities. But I'm going to start pumping up dodge. And then I want to get Hawkeye, but if you actually read here, it says you need 30 points in the talent tree and um, other skills in this same vertical row, vertical column, only need 20, so I missed that before. So this is gonna take me even longer to get Hawkeye, but there's a good chance that Hawkeye is gonna be quite exciting and definitely well worth it. So look forward to that in the video, that's gonna take a while. And if anybody has Devil Sting on their character on Server 3, and you want to jump on my friend slot so I can try to use it in a video and see what this thing's all about, um, definitely let me know. But this is the least popular of uh, the, the ones here. But anyways. So I'd have to choose between speed. Actually, I, I wouldn't have a choice. If I got this one, I would have to get this one and this one, or maybe I could, yeah, I'd have to get those two before I get Hawkeye. Anyways, enough, enough talking. Let's go get um, completely destroyed in raids. So um, for anyone who hasn't seen us, raid one, raid two, raid three, raid four. Here is raid five. Raid five is pretty cool. And raid six is a horrible experience. I think it's cool. It's got dinosaurs. You see me doing the normal mode. This is my team right here. I'll show you guys what they're what they're rocking. It's the same dream team. You've seen them. Diver has um, full launch, and I think Bop has full launch too. Do I kick off? Not. Let me just see. I'll put my team back together um, just so you can see everybody's total stats. So Diver, he's super high total stats, and he's got his ultimate ability, so he's on the team. 
is lower a tank right now. He's messing around. We were talking about what, what kind of pets he wants to mess with. So he's messing with his build. I'm not going to put him on um, a Wookie, my tanky boy. And then here, where is Bop? Bop, why is your why is your TS so low? Why is your pet? Oh, I'm so jealous. He got that. Um, unfortunately, you can't click on somebody and see what um, you can't see what talents and what class skills and things they have. So it's kind of lame. Zax is doing so much damage that I want to keep him on. He's probably gonna get one shot in the run, but Notlock has that cool legendary weapon. <sighs> Decisions. All right. Let's see what my team, so 9741, if I run not lock, 9741, 9741 versus, uh, hmm. Let's show someone, let's show all the ultimate abilities we can. We're gonna get destroyed in this, it doesn't, it's not gonna matter anyways, we're just gonna get completely blasted. Oh, and my autopilot is on. So there's one of these enemies that if you hit first, it just kills your team immediately. This one's gonna be pretty nasty too, and we're gonna manual this. Um, to use some of these abilities. So right there you see it grayed out because it doesn't have MSP. That is the full launch ability. Oh, I just don't want to get completely destroyed before I can use any skills. It is so bad. Wow, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> Good God. Um, yeah. Raid, raids is it's a rough, it's rough times, fellas. It's rough times. And this is a tank, so I'm gonna have the tanks do pretty much all the healing. Look at that, healing and healing. Um, so it appears that I think the only epics are dropping in world boss, which like nobody can kill right now. Oh, don't kill me. Um, I don't know what these skills are. I haven't seen him use this weapon before. Weakest, and then closer to that. And this is all radiation. Oh, that's just one. A restore. This is a health. This is a heal. I'm going to not use any SP. I'm going to use basic attack on him so I can save him up. And maybe next fight I can uh, do something. This guy, on the other hand, he doesn't have an ultimate skill. This is not lock, and so I can use it. So I'm going to save it. I don't want to use it now. Yeah, let's just. His auto attack's actually pretty beastly as well. Or maybe that's just his pet going off. I'll use the tanks for healing. Um, a Wookiee in the front has a shielding pet, and I have a healing pet, but he's tankier than I am. So we're relying on these heal skills to do it. Um, this is going to take forever, so I probably won't show you guys the entire video, so don't worry about that. But there we go. Hey, we killed we killed a pack. Mmm, exciting. Nobody died. I'm going to try to see... Oh, no, I've got chest turned off. The treasure chest is turned off. Um, what's unfortunate is you can't go into your options. You lose your user interface when you're in an adventure. I really hope they'll change it. This was the guy that was, like, murking everybody, like, if you run into him first... You're dead. Now I have SP. Maybe I have a chance. Well, let's run into this guy over here. Robot dinosaurs. Um, but I think I've got chest turned off. Little pro tip. As soon as you get into a new tier, you want to make sure that you have your chest, treasure chest turned on and you start burning those keys because that's a great way to get ep epic items. All right, here we go. This is full launch. And I totally remember that this is a video about the other skill and I'll, I'll try to remember to use it. But here we go. Let's see what happens. So watch his SP bar. That's one skill, fellas. And now he gets another bar of SP. So it says he gets 80 SP. He gets a full bar, and then he gets another bar. This is a better video than my, my other video. Maybe I won't post the other full launch video, and I'll just ramble through this one. Hmm. That was exciting. And he can use that every single fight. Oh, I mean, this, not the, not the tricer, what is it, triceratops? Not the triceratops. It's, it's that little goblin-looking robot. That was the one that was blowing people up. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, I gotta remember, turn chest on, and then we're just gonna manual through this. Full launch, doing work. I should have a second full launch. I'm just gonna let him get SP. There he is, he's full. Everybody's full. So I just could just... Yeah. <laughs> we could just keep trying to do full launches. Let's try it. Here we go. Boom. This is Diver doing his full launch with the Katana. A Katana and a Lamborghini, man. What What are the times? I'm going to save the mount skill because the mount skill is only once per. Um, and that'll be overkill once per adventure. This will be furthest. I kind of wish that the icons were indi indicative 
of, and there's my ability, I can finally use it after, this is, a, this is the video about my ability that I haven't used. Um, and I should switch, I should put myself in the front. Oh, what a day, what a day, fellas. Unfortunately, you can't switch your team while you're out of combat. I do hope they put that in eventually. And you can't potion your team while you are out of combat, which is also unfortunate, because if you jump into combat, I'm gonna get hit like two times, usually, nope, lucky. And then there we go. This might be the way, I'm trying to switch. This might be the way to get through raids. They just full launch every single, uh, every single pack. <laughs> Look at Bop. Bop is popping off. That's pretty good. And I think he's just slightly shy of full SP. So he couldn't full launch there. Imagine if you had three full launches. That's actually really good. And then I'm gonna use my skill again. Look at that. Um, I talked to some friends and I told them that I wasn't really happy that the, the autopilot does not use the um, full recharge skill. But um, they, they were telling me that I should definitely um, keep that ability because it's helping them get through raids and then it makes sense. Now is the best time to have this when people are doing uh, manual and stuff like that. All right, let us, let us continue. Uh, so I think that guy's gonna beat me up. I'm gonna try to go to that guy last. And I'm just trying to get epic items. Just epic items, all I need. Now, it's good that I have the skill that heals myself. That way, if I, um, we didn't full launch again. If I um, lose my gun that has this heal target, it won't be so painful because I can keep myself nice and healthy. I'm liking this a lot. Um, I do want to put a suggestion in. Um, I hope the devs will look at it and let the autopilot uh, use these skills because it's it's every battle. It's not once, it's not once per um, per adventure like a mount skill. So I really hope they look at that because that that kind of changes everything. That makes me a juicier tank than a Wookie. When he sees this video, he's gonna he's gonna go grind that out. He's gonna get that skill. This is a, and the hard times we're out here in these mean streets of Bit Legends manualing stuff. Um, this is definitely the time to have that skill. So it's, it's definitely a valuable skill. It's just autopilot is such a big part of this game. Um, I hope they I hope they reconsider. But I mean, this, the game's in early access. This is this is the the phase of fixing bugs as a priority versus looking at new suggestions and things like that. Although they've done so much creative stuff already, that makes me quite happy. So he is again just one tiny little pip away from from being full SP. Now there is an NG build that you can do that would, um, God, that, that's such a good skill. And then a Wookie can heal himself. Um, there is an NG build that gives SP to other people on your team. So that's kind of cool. However, you're going to have to compare that to, um, would it make more sense for you to just run a third DPS that also has full launch? You see what I'm saying? So you, you gotta run the numbers. Fortunately, we have a DPS chart now, and the DPS meter is gonna answer the question, what's better? Two DPS players with a support NG, giving them SP and other bonuses, or just having three um, straight up DPSs? And then if anybody is um, a high Kung Fu player, if you, you got that Kung Fu, there's my healing pet going off, um, definitely hit me up, because I wanna show videos on that other content as well. Um, so go get, your, go get your class ability, come on. You've been waiting for Having class types, I know it, I can feel it. Now you got it, go get your skill. There we go. But yes, I'm, I missed my intro music, I missed my intro, I missed adding my editing features and things like that, but you know what? I would rather make videos than not make videos. So that's what we're doing. And I'm having fun, hopefully you're having fun too, and hopefully this game can help you if you need to kill some time. But it feels good, it feels like coming home. Oh. There we go, boys. There we freaking go. I'll show the skills on this thing after, unless I totally forget and don't do it. But I'm gonna need the total stats. Um, and it looks like I'm gonna be running raids all night now that we can do, okay, that's the boss up there. Let's, let's take a little safe sneak peek. Let's look at his feet. I know some of you guys are into that. Let's go down and try to kill the goblin looking thing. I don't know if this is the goblin or not. I know he's special. I want to kill all the trash I can and do this. Um, I don't think that 
we're in the territory where it would make sense for me to try to do on the next difficulty as I'm getting completely destroyed here. God dang it. I don't want a potion, and I don't think I have to. And we're probably going to die on the boss anyways. Let me just rearrange. I want to save the potions. I don't know what I'm saving them for. Um, if you are in need of revive potions, I think the best way to get them is in the event, um, the rich booty event. I, once you've kind of bought all the cool stuff that you wanted to get out of it, it's a month long event. So you're, I think you're eventually going to max out everything. So that's where I get my potions from. Holy smokes. Burr. Let's switch, put bop there. In case there's another tech for this. I don't think we have a chance on the final boss, especially with me dead and I'm being stingy, not using potions. Do I want to use the mount skill? I think I do. Let's use the mount skill. This is, I think this is like one of the legendary guys. I think each raid has like two legendaries. Goodness gracious. Why can't that guy just be dead? You know, you know, let's do some healing. Kind of, kind of bad, a bad uh, look to get killed in your own video but it is what it is. Hopefully this will crit and then he'll get SP and it did not, okay. What is this, furthest? Yep, furthest is a high damaging skill. But if I can kill this guy, I'll be happy, so I'm gonna use the mount skill. I'm gonna use that mount skill, I, yeah. Okay, moral victory. Is there any more trash that I missed? Nope, so we've killed everything but the boss. Sucks that I died there. I'm still working on getting my tanky stuff up. I've got f like 45% block, 12% damage reduction, then 5% in all the other defensive, which it's not horrible, but it's just not that consistent. Um, and we're two days away from the accessory gotcha resetting. So let's watch these guys completely merc my team. A Wookiee, he's standing strong, but that little raptor looking, iron looking guy is pretty brutal. Do I even get an attack off? All right. So that's pretty much the state of things right now. Um, if I was still alive, I probably would have had a shot there, but there you go. Um, not too bad, we got an epic item. Let's go mess with that. Let's go mess with that, and I don't wanna make this video too long. But, items. I do like that you can upgrade from this page. So if you go here, click change, click on the item, and then you can just, you can just level it up from here. Let's wear it first, and then let's, Look at skills. Closest enemy, closest enemy, weakest ally. So a heal weakest, I like that a lot actually. And I think heal weakest is stronger than heal target. So yeah. Yeah, boys. It Now, the other one had a defensive bonus. This had absorb on it. And I'll just go back and look at those skills real quick. Skill, bum bum. Target, so heal, if you heal target, it's 102 to 128. And I think this is going to be a higher percentage. So let's wear it. Let's look at the skills. I believe, yeah, weakest is, so weakest is stronger. Target is the weakest skill, whether it's attack or a heal. Then weakest is next. And then I think it's closest, then furthest, then strongest. And I might have missed something in there, but whatever. Um, those are the percentages, and that's pretty consistent whether you're talking about, like, uh, familiar skills. So I can go here, click it again, and I can level it up right from here without going anywhere. So I lost a little bit of absorb, but... I will definitely take the total stats boost. Look at that level up. I was 1850, now I think I am, um, well, let's just go look. Also, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of agility on there. I might, you know what, I will actually show you guys the, um, the recast option while we're here. So let's just look at my total stats real quick. So I'm getting really close to 2000 total stats. So I'm 1936. I'm gonna keep farming dungeons um, until my girlfriend tells me to go to bed. And then um, I'm gonna try to get some tier nine gear for you fellas today. Holy smokes. Uh, let's see, so let's show you recasting. So recast this thing right here, recast it. I've had a really bad experience with this. I don't think you should be doing it until you're getting like legendary gear, but you know what, we're making a video. Now the bonus at the bottom is gonna stay the same. If you have Kiku, the bonus, the, the hit points regen is always gonna be um, the same, but it's the stats that will change. And I'm looking for anything with less agility. That's pretty damn good. That's good, fellas. 
As always, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.